ख्याल है Talking about love, not Captain and Tennille. Not Captain and Tennille. <laughs> but we could. I'm Suzanne <laughs> Debit Hall. This is my beloved Declan Debit Hall. And we started with a song today. We did. I mean, a lot of people were a little down today, so we're just trying to be a little happy and upbeat. Silly. So and you want to uh, start us off? Yeah. So yes. yesterday, yes, how today. this all started was you started asking me about love and what love was. I did. So that's the topic today, what love is. Why did you start thinking about such a question? Well, it's 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 such a broad subject. People will say they're in love, but their actions don't show that or mm -hmm. imply that. And I know that uh, love is mentioned a lot in the Bible. I mean, it starts out with the, the King James Version, the old one, and it's about 300 times. And when you get to the New Living Translation, things have been transcribed to it being almost 600 times love is mentioned in the Bible. What do you know? So I thought we Could would talk about this. it a little bit today. I wonder what other people think love is. Um, one of the things, I mean, I have a lot to say. I've got a whole dissertation on this. Here we um, go. <laughs> and I'm not starting that now. I'm going to start a little later on that. But, um, one of the things that we talked about was that in, um, English, there aren't that many words for love. Mm. I mean, there's affection. Um, there's like romance. There's a few terms, but in other languages, there's a much more nuanced approach. I think we saw in... Sanskrit, there were 96 or 92 or something like yes. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in, um, so I was looking at some of the, a variety of languages and some of the words. And in um, Tamil, which is the language of Sri Lanka and two states in India, and also is used in Singapore, one of the languages in Singapore, um, it's, it sounds like there are dozens of words. And this was interesting to me, this list, because <laughs> these, I think, are all related to romantic love and variations of romantic mm. love. Um, there's one, anpu, it's a general term for love. It can re describe romantic, affection, friendship, devotion. Then there's this, it looks like katal. I'm, I'm going to murder these, butcher all these words, but um, <laughs> is reserved for romantic love. Akai, the love you feel when you long for someone. Pashim, the feeling of deeply connected love, um, and Kaikiltai, or Kaikilai, I guess, um, it, and it says it probably doesn't have an equivalent in very many languages. Mm. It's used to express a romantic love that isn't reciprocated by the other per person. Mm. So, you know, love is this, this complex thing, um, and uh, English expresses it one way, in a more limited way, I think. Well, I... As if I have some place to stand on. I'm, I'm not a, a wordsmith like you, but I disagree with Webster and I disagree with Dictionary.com. What do they say? They say that love is a noun. They they de they describe it as a feeling, an emotion, a desire for something. I think love is a verb. I think love is action. It's something that you do. Mm. What do you think? Well, this is where the dissertation comes. In. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so I've been thinking about this a lot, and I used to have the same view as you I mean I agree that when um, that that love needs to take action and mm -hmm. I think about um, God being love and and what that means and mm. and God is is an active force right. um, and I've kind of questioned when I've known some people have been in relationships where the love wasn't active but it was stated and I didn't believe it because it mm. it Without that action, um, it was hard for me to believe that it could be a real thing. Mm -hmm. But when we were talking the other day, I started thinking about, uh, you know, God as love and then how that reflects down to us and how we're all so incapable of mm -hmm. fully loving, right? And I picture God's love as sort of an ever-expanding wave of understanding and compassion for people. So, you know, there's not like a, a condemnation and a judgment because God is always within us seeking to understand and, and always understanding why it is we do things, why we, you know, um, why we hurt other people, why we aren't able to actively love, um, but, but sort of passively love. Um, God understands mm. all that. Yeah, well, isn't love just a, it, it feels like it's something that, 
we continually evolve into understanding our being. You know, it grows and it changes as we do and as we mature because I think sometimes love, love is, feels like it's a very giving thing, but sometimes love is walking away. Mm. Sometimes love is being quiet. Sometimes love is speaking. I mean, it's such a um, evolving thing mm. for us, I think, emotionally, as we become more like God, who is unconditional love. Yeah. I, I was picturing God in, in two ways as I've been thinking this through over the past months, really, but also just in this last day, mm. um, kind of two metaphors. And one is uh, love, God as love, is kind of a heart. Um, mm. pumping and pulsing where this love is pushed out, you know, the blood is pushed out and reaches all the parts of the body and is also pulled back and reoxygenated. So, you know, it's getting pushed out into mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Um, and we, and it, and it manifests down into all the tiny little capillaries, into all the people and all the ways that we love in grand ways and in tiny ways. Mm -hmm. Um, and then gets pulled back and, and regenerated, reoxygenated re mm -hmm. um, by this thing that's 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 the motor behind it all, the, the pulsing source of it. Mm. Um, and I also think about love like uh, gravity. That's something mm. that I, I will be writing about. Mm -hmm. um, that that God is is love, and, and it's like gravity that holds the entire universe together. That if you look, and uh, there are different kinds of um, cohesive forces at every level um, of things that I can think about, right. whether it's on the, you know, uh, microscopic level, uh, um, atoms and um, electrons or protons, or planets with gravity pulling mm -hmm. their moons together, or solar systems, um, and black holes, which I picture being like this heart I was describing. Where the gravity of God, the gravity of God is so intense that if you're anywhere near it, as you approach it, the closer and closer you get to God, mm -hmm. you're just sucked in and consumed. <laughs> and then at the other side of that, you're pushed back out again as energy, um, which is fueling and growing the universe. So, wow, what a beautiful vision! I picture God, you know, and love being that that thing, and therefore being that grand. Mm. Um, that all of the small loves and the ways that we can love in flawed ways are a piece of that beauty, right? I mean, we know people who are abusive and yet claim to love. And that piece that is love is real love. It's a tiny little fragment mm. that, um, you know, God, that love desires to grow and become more and to, and to be drawn into this uh, divine pomp of love that, that, you know, <laughs> that fuels the all of being, um, but doesn't disdain it, you know. I think sorrows that it, yeah. it isn't more yet, but I don't think we as humans can be that more yet. Um, well, it feels like it's always, it, it's growing and it's evolving and it's complex and yet it's also simple. I mm -hmm. attended a... Uh, a conference with several Christian speakers way back 20 some years ago in my Southern Baptist days and one of the speakers who wrote a book titled her book something to do with splashing people with love mm. and, and she she gave us this visual of a dog that was wet that would shake and, and, and the water would hit everybody and, and that water was love and she said just go into a grocery store and be kind to your cashier mm. and then you splash them with love yeah. so those tiny little things are also part of it but it's so grand at the same time that oh. it's evolving yeah and I think um, that when we're doing that when we're splashing whether it's in big ways or small ways uh, for us I think we've felt very hampered over the last um, year and a half however long it's been when we've been kind of <laughs> primarily trapped inside mm -hmm. our love that's been more active in the past, you know, serving people and trying to um, be in, in live community with people um, has been hampered. And yet mm -hmm. we've still tried to love uh, and, and do some splashing when, when we've been able to. Right. Uh, well, you know, we are the whole movement, the, the advocacy that we do is called the word true love movement is. And underneath that, that's an umbrella of many different, uh, programs we have going so we try to be love in action but we know that love is much bigger <laughs> it's, it's all those things yeah so and you're a part of it and you you're are. helping uh, the presence of god grow every time you do 
any one kind small thing or even I believe even if it's just a feeling in your heart mm. and you don't have anywhere to share it um, well it feels like you can feel it God. you know when I, when I look at you and I say I love you it feels like the room lights up there's a it different feeling in the room because that's who you are <laughs> All right, we better go. We've got another one to do. We, we do. So we want all of you to have a great week. Share with us uh, simple ways and complex ways or whatever thoughts you have on love. Yeah, what do you think love is? We would love to hear it and see it and hear what you have to say. Um, we know that there's a, a couple people out there we saw today on social media that are friends that are having a tough day. Know that we love you. Um, so take some time to dance. We danced you in, so share some dance time. And were you going to dance us out? I was or not? going to if I can get this to go. Let's see. We'll see. It might not be fast enough because we're not just going to keep you here. We might. We like them. I guess not. We should. <laughs> here just it goes. It. Are you, you got ready? it? Okay. okay. Play okay. it again, Sam. Here we go. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. We love you all. Bye bye.